the Apis Balsarapium at Saqqara Necropolis. Saqqara is a large necropolis or burial area for the ancient Egyptian capita of Memphis. It is located west of the Nile River about 30 kilometers south of Cairo. The Serapium is located northwest of the Steppe Pyramid. Serapium is a location that was used to bury the sacred Apes bulls. It is a network of tunnels underground with chambers housing burial sarcophagi of the bulls. The Serapium was discovered by Auguste Mariette in 1850. The earliest burial discovered is from the time of Amenhotep III of Dynasty 18, around 1350 BC. Ancient Egyptians believed that Apis Bull was an incarnation of the ancient Egyptian deity Ptah. After its death it became the deity Osiris Apis. Apis Bulls were carefully selected and treated as royalty during their life and after their death. This is the only entrance and source of air and light to the Serapium tunnels. Once we get in, we can select to go to the left or to the right. We can see here a lid to one of the granite boxes left in the hallway. This lid can weigh up to 30 tons. This layout shows the chambers on both sides of the tunnel. The black rectangles show the locations of 24 huge granite boxes in these chambers. One box was left in the corridor, after a failed attempt by King Farouk in the 20th century, to take it out of Serapium. They used many workers and mules, but still could not handle the weight in this narrow passageway, and they had to abandon the idea. The bulls were supposedly buried in huge sarcophagi that weigh between 60 and 100 tons with lids. Each of these giant boxes are cut out of one stone block of the toughest granite, basalt or diorite. The Serapium was closed for many years due to deteriorating condition of the tunnels. The last closure was between 2001 and 2012. The angles of these boxes are almost at perfect 90 degrees. These catacombs were originally developed by Chemosit, the son of Ramses II and high priest of the time. Chemwasat is known as the first Egyptologist. He was interested in exploring and restoring the monuments and burial sites of his ancestors. He took a special interest in the Serapium. The burial site and catacombs were used until the end of the Ptolemaic period. It was closed about 325 AD by orders from Roman Emperor Constantine who forbade any pagan religions in favor of Christianity. We can see here the steel enforcements that were added recently to support the chambers. 
August Mariette found 24 sarcophagi. They were all empty. The discovered mummies of the bulls were found in wooden sarcophagi in nearby tunnels and burial sites. This raised suspicion among some researchers and Egyptologists about the real age and reason for the existence of these huge granite boxes. The high quality finishing and accurate perpendicular angles of these boxes that require advanced technology is another reason for suspicion. Some researchers noticed the tunnel's surface is almost perfectly flat, which is difficult even with today's machinery and technology. Also, transporting these giant boxes, turning and sliding them into chambers is an extremely difficult task, even by today's standards and technology. These findings eventually led to some extreme theories about the origins and age of these mysterious boxes. Ancient Egyptians were famous for their knowledge in all types of magic, including black magic, and connecting with mysterious creatures known as jinn. This bizarre theory talks about Egyptians being able to use their knowledge in magic to get the jinn to build and transport these huge boxes and dig these tunnels. Another extreme theory suggests these humongous structures were built by aliens. It may have been part of energy generation site, or even an ancient alien city, by an advanced mysterious alien civilization. Many centuries later, the boxes were found and used by ancient Egyptians as burial sites for the bulls. Jinn or aliens are both expressions of our lack of knowledge and understanding, when it comes to the existence of other intelligent beings sharing this planet with humans. We only know about Egyptians using these boxes through Stella, and the remains of pottery and animal mummies found in nearby locations. Inscriptions on some of the boxes also talk about Egyptian kings, but some Egyptologists point out they were fully inscribed, and do not necessarily mean the boxes were built at the same time of the writings. The incredible accuracy and quality of the construction of these tunnels, and the huge granite or diorite sarcophagi, in addition to the difficulty of transporting and positioning them, gave rise to these extreme theories. However, most Egyptologists believe all this was actually built by ancient Egyptians, and was actually used to bury the sacred Apis bull that was worshipped by ancient Egyptians. It seems that we are not giving the great ancient Egyptian civilization the credit it deserves. Many recent discoveries show us that Egyptians were actually capable and knowledgeable enough 
to make these great monuments and structures. When the Greek took over Egypt they continued the Apis cult and eventually evolved as Sorapis as Serapis under the Ptolemaic dynasty and hence the location was called the Serapium. According to discoveries, the oldest burial in the Serapium was 3400 years ago and it was used for over 600 years. At first Kemwisat ordered the excavation of phase 1 or what is called the lesser vaults. Later on, under Pharaoh Samtik I of 26th dynasty, between 664 and 610 BC, a second gallery of chambers, now known as the Greater Vaults, were excavated. It was later extended to about 350 meters long, 5 meters tall, and 3 meters in width, by the Ptolemaic dynasty. What do you think? Did ancient Egyptians build these huge boxes, that are extremely difficult to carve, polish, and transport with such great accuracy? Was it built by a greater powerful lost or alien civilization? Or was it built by the mysterious jinn? Leave us your comments and opinion. As we move closer back to the entrance, we can see the extremely heavy box that even modern 20th century workers and mules fail to move out of the Serapium. The Serapium of Saqqara stands as another evidence of the might and knowledge of the great ancient Egyptian civilization. Follow Egyptian Planet channel for more Saqqara tours and for more great videos about Egypt. Please subscribe to Egyptian Planet channel to receive notifications of more exciting videos.